latest edition of Teen Wolf TV Time with me. Today's episode is Smoke and Mirrors. But before we get into that, let me start off by apologizing for this super uber duper late video. Right after the season finale of Teen Wolf, I got super sick with like this weird stomach thing and I will not go into detail about it because ew. Um, so I hadn't really been doing much of anything except like going to work and then sleeping because I felt so terrible. So that's why this video is like a week late. But whatever, I'm here. I didn't abandon you like I did all through season three when I didn't do finale videos for I'm here, don't worry. It's better late than never, I always say. So we start the episode off with Kira acting like an actual maze runner, running around trying to find Scott through the dips and divots of this ancient temple church of death. And it's just like, she's... So we start the episode off with Kira chasing behind Scott, trying to find him like the actual maze runner going this way and that way, till she runs into some berserkers who seem to always go from zero to 10,000 in about two seconds. I'm like, come on y'all, it's not even necessary for y'all to be that mad all the time. Oh, now's the time for them to explain to me Kate's voodoo berserker magic, like she's the bone woman now and she just knows berserker tricks. Is anybody going to ever like go into detail and explain to me why she can do that? Or is that something I'm gonna have to just deal with? Oh, I guess they heard me. For all of the gift giving holidays, like Christmas and my birthday, I really want somebody to scrounge together the funds to get me a berserker, because I got more than a handful of bitches that I need to get rid of. I swear to the Lord Jesus Christ, if Kira dies, I will be very upset. I honestly don't think that right now is the time for the sheriff to be doing any hardcore parenting. Like, Styles pretty much does whatever he wants anyway, so you should really just fall in line, Mr. Sarah. Sir. I love how he's also like, if you find any validity to the fact that there are some things happening in Mexico, we can book a flight to Mexico. You don't have any money. You can't book a flight to Cleveland, let alone to Mexico. Come on, sir. Let's be real. Your funds is tight. I really hate how much I like Derek and Sister Soldier. And by hate, I mean. I love how Peter's trying to play every side against the middle. He's doing a pretty good job right now. Obviously, he's not gonna succeed because if you kill Scott, then there's no show. But I appreciate the nuances that he's going through to be able to put together such an elaborate scheme. Very Scooby-Doo, my friend. Very Scooby-Doo. I'm thinking Styles wants Malia to sniff Scott's jock for reasons other than okay. This is like flashback to season two with like all the weird Cornish things. Or was that season three yet? It was some season where they were doing weird porny kink things and I feel like this is paying homage to that. Homage. However you say it, whatever. And baby Liam just wants to help and that aside from him like getting in the way, I love that Sister Soldier just has access to everything. Like as a marshal or a bounty hunter or whatever the hell kind of law enforcement she is. I love that she just has access to like police vans and things like that. Except I don't appreciate the fact that they are trying to leave Lydia behind. She is like the team captain and they definitely need her. I'm trying to tell you leaving without Lydia is wrong. Peter is trying to be slick and play y'all and it is not gonna work because evil will not prevail. I have literal heart eyes for mentor Derek. He's so cute. Except Styles isn't really buying the whole Triskelion thing or Trisca what, what, whatever. He is not really buying that chanting thing. He is giving quite the side eye. He and uh, Derek look like parents trying to decide whether or not they want their son to believe in like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. And it is so cute. Somebody write me a fic. I actually might write it myself. Well, at least Kira's not dead. Her mom is channeling some Victoria Argent stuff, like coming in at really weird times and dreams and memories to forcefully motivate your daughter into not being a punk ass bitch. Great parenting, guys. I appreciate that kind of stir. I will forever be mad that Mason gets to be involved in the supernatural stuff and Danny was not. I need them to stop playing with me because if Derek dies, I've already said it. I don't need to say it again. 
you know what will happen if Derek dies. Styles has this look of love and devotion on his face, and I cannot even. Oh, they're so cute. They're so meant to be sisters, soldier, who girl, just be their best friend. <sighs> and now Styles is getting chastised in the death tunnel. I wonder who's gonna win round one of Kate versus Sister Soldier. Hopefully, Sister Soldier will. I really like Kate, but she can die again, whatever. Actually, no, don't die again. I'd be upset. But I don't know who I like more, her or Sister Soldier. Sister Soldier, definitely. But, like, it's not really fair to say that I like Sister Soldier more because Kate has been doing a lot of badass things and Sister Soldier has been getting late. It's really hard to pick between the two of them, so I just want All right, baby BM, it's time to face your PTSD. Good luck. Hopefully it'll go well. I do not have words for how excited I am that Parrish and um, Argent are like a little bad boy boy band team of old men. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but good job, guys. Way to team up and save the day. Oh, it's cute that Lydia adopted the baseball bat. Oh my gosh, she changed shoes. The tan booties are gone. She's wearing something black now. What a time to be alive. Sheriff Stalinsky, more like Savior Stalinsky. Ha, 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 ha. Wouldn't it have sucked if that was Scott that got blown up? Peter, your plans are foiled again. Good job, Styles and Kira. The power of love simply conquers all. Take hold of my hand and you'll understand what it truly means to be friends. Peter's probably shitting a brick right now. Stay pressed, bro. Is that the desert wolf? Calm down, bitch, it's just Derek. But he's shirtless, though. But what the hell does this make Derek now? Nobody messes with Scott's babies. I love how Kate is like, oh my gosh, don't make me the bad guy. Except you are the bad guy because you've been trying to kill them all season. How That is pretty much textbook definition of a bad guy. I don't know, guys. All in all, this season has been full of ups and downs and I really enjoyed it. But something about the ending seemed really anticlimactic. Like, we never figure out what Deputy Hottie with Hottie is, and that's kind of a problem. We never meet the Desert Wolf. I'm sure that'll come up in season five, but I don't know. I feel like there should have been a little bit more like tie-ups that happened instead of like leading with so many questions. I don't know, whatever. I shouldn't complain because I don't know if you saw, but I was on Wolf Watch on uh, the 8th and I looked hella fabulous. I got to present an award to Jeff Davis. Don't have it with me anymore, but I wish I did. It was a wolfie for some very convoluted award that I cannot even say anymore. My mom screamed, I screamed, we all screamed. It was beautiful. But until next season, I will see you guys later. Get your life and have a good like year year until the season starts again. Bye! But don't worry because the channel will not die like last time. There's going to be so many new things happening like Let's Play fashion stuff and just oh my god it's just gonna be beautiful and glorious and I hope that you all stick around. For real though, bye.